Hello, I'd like to share with you a little known feature that we get with Generative Shape Develop to help us with uh, decal mapping. Um, it's called UV Unwrap, here it is, or UV Parameterization, to give it its full title. So um, the problem is we want to create a 2D image with some decals on to put on the side of this racing car. So what I've done is I've made uh, this, uh, this sub D surface, which I'm going to intersect with the body side. So I've, I have done that already. So um, I can switch that off and just show you what this looks like. So there it is. That's what the intersection area. So now that we're here, I can make uh, a UV parameterization feature. And uh, all I need to do is pick the split. In fact, it's already picked. Uh, I can do a preview. I'll put on a reference texture. So let me show you what that looks like. So these are uh, 10 millimeter squares. So you can see, you can see they're going all the way across there. So when I just say OK to that, that's created. And the, the clever thing right here is I can now go export, export a 2D contour as DXF, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shape, I'm going to flatten it so that the surface area remains the same, and then use the uh, contour in Adobe Illustrator to design a layout for my sponsor logos. So I need to say where it's going to go. Let's call it uh, 2D Unwrap 101. So it's going to make a DXF file. Pick the surface and say OK. Right, that's been done. So here's my Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to go open and let's go for that file. So I put it in here. This one, here it comes keep it to the original size because it is one to one size. Here it comes. So I can see that the default uh, artboard is far too small. So what I need to do is uh, extend that. And now we can start placing our logos onto it. Okay, so I've uh, laid out some graphics uh, that I'd like to put on the on the car, and let's uh, let's see how that's going to look. So these images can be uh, they can be images, they can be raster-based images, or they can even be vector-based images, because we can export this as uh, a PNG um, from Adobe Illustrator. But I actually like to use SVG because this gives us a few more options when we get it into 3D experience. So I'm going to go for export. And these are my options that we need right here. So uh, images need to be embedded. Um, and I'm not sure what all of these settings are. I'm not an Adobe expert, but uh, let's say OK with that. And there it is the uh, 2D Unwrap SVG. Okay, so let's go back to 3D Experience. So here it is. So I'm going to switch off this preview right here so we can see what we can see. Okay, so now we need to get into live rendering. So to get into live rendering, we just uh, double click on the top of the tree. Here we are, here's the live rendering. And we're going to make a decal. <coughs> 
So here we go. I'm going to create and apply a new decal. Here we unwrap NM or one. I'm going to apply it on this surface here. Now I need to apply it onto the UV unwrap feature that we've just made. There it is. And I can hit this button and go immediately to edit. Because what it's done is it's put this little uh, this little preview patch onto the model for us. So by default, the mapping is planar, so we need to change that to geometry UV. So that means it's reading that uh, the UV feature that's part of the, the surface right here. And um, we also need to set the size to be correct. So the size we can get from Adobe Illustrator. If I just uh, pick on the path here, I can go to my properties. And I can see that it's 1842.75, uh, so I'm just going to go with 1843. So I'm going to make it uh, 1843. And then we need to go into our texture chooser. And this is when we bring in the, uh, the image that we want. So if I just uh, grab the SVG file, I can put it in here. There it is. Get rid of that and then I can drag this over to here and now we dragged it over this is the clever part because we've used an SVG we can choose which bits of it we want to see in which we don't we can switch layers off and on directly from Adobe Illustrator so I don't want to see this black blob which is the polyline we don't need to see that and then I can pick and choose which ones I want to see so this would allow me to build up uh, various possibilities various locations different logos and so on also notice down here we've got a, a DPI setting so what happens is 3d experience is going to convert the uh, the, the logos into into a raster based image and this is the DPI it's going to use to do it so for fast uh, response times set it low so go for 72 just push OK and that's now going to swap in the new logos boom there we are okay look at that fantastic so if I just uh, confirm that Perhaps what I want to do is change the uh, the colour of this so it matches the rest of the car. There we go. And there we have it. So this gives us huge flexibility and control over where the uh, the logos are going. So you can see that the uh, the logo here, the Dasa System logo, doesn't quite look right there. So what? Uh, maybe we need to to move it to a different location. So I can go back to Adobe Illustrator. I can pick this up and maybe let's put it um, over here. And looking for my rotate. There it is. My rotate icon. Maybe move this down a bit. It's very, very flexible and quick and easy to do. There we go. And then I can just go do it again. And let's call this uh, number two. Go back to 3D experience. Whoops. Okay. Back to 3D Experience, and let's go into here. Here we go. Oh, something I didn't mention before is, if you click on this base color texture, this is where you can see things like the current DPI and the size of the image and the number of pixels. So the higher this is, obviously, the more memory it's going to use up. But let's go back into the texture chooser, and let's bring in the, uh, the newer one. So there's number two pop that in here. You'll see that we build up a sort of a library here. Uh, the one here, this is the sort of the one that's in session and currently applied. And if I just hover over here, I can see that's number one and this is number two. So I can pop that over there. And again, we get the option to choose and we'll switch off the polyline. And we're going to say OK. So you can see they're in a slightly different location. And just say OK. 
So the beauty of this is that we can use Adobe Illustrator or any other graphics package that, we, that we're used to, to define these vector or raster based images and we can apply them in one go. And of course, Adobe Illustrator, in this case, this is true, true print accuracy. You've got the right resolution for printing the wraps. So this should really accelerate the iterative process that you have to use to decide well how the logos are looking when they're distorted over these three-dimensional shapes. You could even use Adobe Illustrator to tweak the shapes, so distort them in 2D so that when they arrive in 3D, they look better. So this will accelerate that whole process for you, making it much, much easier. So I hope you've enjoyed that little presentation with uh, Generative Shape Develop to export the 2D DXF to Adobe Illustrator and live rendering with the latest functionality with decal mapping and the texture chooser to give us more flexibility and greater speed for defining our sponsored logo placement.